All right. Well, you're not Rowell. Hold on. Where are you at? Um, I'm going to see if I can make this quick and dirty video for you. Let's see where I'm at here. No. <clears throat> um, 3D Vistas Group. Uh, you just sent me a message, so I'll go there, right? There you are. There you are. Okay. So, what'd you say? You said, um, something, somewhere. Anyway, I'll make this, oh, thanks. Uh, in my case, I'm not using Route 53 as my name server. My name server is somewhere else. Okay. Um, well, you can switch you know to uh whatever name server you want uh doing it this way uh, made me i think my name server is somewhere different too and so i had to actually um use route 53 so i had to route my name server which is godaddy to route 53 and to make this all work and just to make this simpler so um let's see let's look at my process here so if you and this is like dirty, dirty. So if I go over here, I have Route 53 in this tab, and then I have CloudFront in this tab, and then I have Amazon S3 in that tab. What I do is I load all my files in S3. So here's my files in version four there. And then I load all my files in S3. And then I go to, so once I do that, and then I have to, make them all public make sure you make your files public or it won't work and after i do that i go to cloudfront let's go to my distributions um let's see which one that was so this one is merv corning so let's go to merv corning so boop 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 where are we at merv corning boom so here's merv corning um and to create that what i do is uh Let's see. Okay, so we'll just try to start from scratch. So I'll create this distribution. Then I get started. The origin domain name, I have that in a file here to make it the same, but you have to find out what your origin d domain name is. So boom, there's scrap. So origin domain name is this right here, the VTORS um, S3 website, US East. So they're looking for that, US East. Amazon AWS.com. So whichever one you're going to use, you have to find that. And then I will copy that because that stays the same for me, for all of my tours. And uh, then I'll put that into here, the origin domain name. So I'll hit paste. I, like some pop up and I'm sure one of these would work if I selected them, but just to, for the sake of continuity I just paste it in there and just copy paste use that method um, origin path that I believe uh, oh so the origin path is this path in Amazon s3 um, so if I go to do 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 because I use index.htm boom and the origin path is this everything all the way up to index htm don't select index to htm copy this boom copy and then i'll go to uh back to the origin path and paste it there boop and the origin id will automatically generate when i click past it boom origin id generated and then right here these headers um i'm sure you know they're used in analytics and things so i can identify what tour uh what i do i put in all caps uh the first one has to be all connected so this one would be like uh c m a uh, merv where are we at v Corning, C-O-R-N-I-N-G. And I, this video is going to be long, but it's going to be worth it. Uh, and I put spaces in there automatically in, the, in my head. I don't know why I did that, but they don't belong there. So, boom, this one would be CMA Merv Corning. And then I would copy that, go over here to the value. And in the value, you can have spaces in here. So I just basically put the same thing in there and put spaces in there. 
and um, I don't mess with uh, the connection temps or origin timeout. You can play with that if you want. I don't play with any of those settings. I skip down to, I redirect HTTP to HTTPS so that uh, no matter which one you type in, even if you type it in without either one of them, it goes directly to the secure version of the site. And then I leave everything else alone until I get down to... Uh, here we go. Alternate names, C names. So the C name is the, is the name that you're going to create over here in Route 53. So I have a tab up there. And so Route 53... Um, I have all these C names that I've created, and so where's Merv Croning? Where are you at? Boop, 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 uh, down, oh, so all the way at the bottom, because I think I just edited that. So, down here, you, uh, create a C name, and, um, that's my C name right there for Merv Croning. And so, what I would do is after I've created my C name in Route 53, or if I already know what the C name is going to be, I'll just type in the C name. But uh, in Route 53, I go to Hosted Zones, and like I had to create this Hosted Zone this for HerbC, my business, and then um, I had to put all my C name or create a bunch of C names in here. Now, as you see here, I don't know if it shows here, but... Uh, it's routing all my traffic. So it's routing all the traffic from herbc.work to, which I just hosted on GoDaddy, to Route 53. And so there's instructions on how to do that. So you have to look those up because this is going to be a lot of information already. So the instructions on how to do that, route your domain name to Route 53 so that your domain name can work with Route 53. And then you can create a bunch of C names. And then you can use those C names in CloudFront. Boom. We're going to paste that C name that I copied in there. And then, um, oh, see, I didn't even go over this part, the SSL certificate. So I created, uh, so you can click this right here to request a certificate. I've already created mine. So here's mine. And it drops down, and I select it, and boom. If, once I select that, then this will work. Once I go up here, redirect HTTP to HTTPS, that will work once I have a certificate. But to get one, you can click this button, request. I'm going to open a new tab so it doesn't mess up. Maybe open new tab. Let's see. Uh, nope. So let's just click it. It's going to automatically open a new tab. Good job. Uh, and right here, this is what I did. Is I added, so I read these instructions, watched videos, and then added a certificate for my domain name that I am using in Route 53. It's convoluted, I know. But this is how you got to do it if, that, if you want to uh, host your own on AWS. So, um, let's see. I use this asterisk, asterisk after my domain name so that any tour that uh, ends in herbc.work will work with this certificate. So I use this asterisk before herbc.work so any tour that ends in herbc.work will work. And um, so I... So I typed in asterisk herbc.work and requested a certificate, hit next, and eventually got it. So, you know, it takes a second. I forget how long it takes, but it, it took a little bit, um, maybe a day or so. And then, uh, then my certificate was active. And then I could, once I completed that, I just grabbed that out of the drop down menu and then scroll, keep scrolling down. Don't mess with anything else until I get to the default root object. And for me, I don't know why for me, mine is uh, HTM and not HTML. If somebody can explain that, that'd be great. But my int root object is index. Oh, let's take off the caps. And I'm using one hand here, so bear with me. Uh, index dot HTM dot HTM. Okay, so index.htm is my default root object. And then I keep scrolling down. Um, and if I want to do S3 for logs, then I'll, you know, I'll turn that on, use S3. And I tried that, but uh, S3's logs seem convoluted to me, like all everything else. So what I do is I actually use Google Analytics. And that's what I'm working on right now is making Google Analytics for all of my tours. 
Um, and right now my museum tours, because uh, they requested analytics, my museum tours are uh, I'm doing that. So this is what that looks like. And then once you get this code, you can paste that code into, and I know I'm jumping around here. Where's, there you are. You can paste that code into here, boom, and uh, that once you publish it with that code, then Google can um, work on your tours, Google Analytics, which um, which is cool. And actually, look up Google Analytics um, in the forums, and they'll give you some advice on like actually you have to type in label. Uh, God, I'll just go ahead and show you. So if you go here and you go to your streams, let me dismiss my alarm there. You go to your streams and, um, or your properties. So you go to your properties. And so once you're in your property, so I'm in right here, I'm in my industry invention and progress property. So once I'm in my properties, then I can go over here to... Custom definitions. And once you go to custom definitions, you can create one that actually shows what the users are clicking on by creating a new custom definition. Now, I've already done that. It's right here. But I'm going to um, do it again for you. So create new custom definition. You call it whatever you want. I called it show user clicks. So uh, show user clicks. Boom. Suck. <laughs> uh, show user clicks. Okay, and then you just type in label, literally type it in. Now, sometimes it bring out this drop down menu and then you can select label out of this drop down menu, but it's not doing that right now. So just L A B E L, label. And uh, it, it says this is already a dimension or metric re registered. So I've already done this process, so that's why it's screaming at me. But this is all you have to do. You have to you name it whatever you want, leave that right there. Put label right there and then create save. Boom. Once you do that, then you can actually see where users are clicking in your website. That's a bit of extra information, but uh, <laughs> let's finish this. Uh, we're already 12 minutes in. So sorry, uh, but I think you're going to love this information. So once you're done with that, um, so that's the certificate. That's CloudFront. So once you're done with index HTM, then, um, you know, you can log if you want, but just skip right past that. Distribution state enabled. Yes, you want that. Uh, create distribution. Boom. Once you do that, so I don't want to do this because I already have this distribution. So I'm going to go back. Once you do that, um, where's, I'll just hit the back button. There you go. So once you do that, then you'll see a new distribution pop up right here, and it's going to have this distribution name, right? And this distribution, or domain, I'm sorry, domain name. So if you want to test the tour, I, you test the tour by using that domain name and you can pop that in your browser, copy, and then paste. So paste and go. And yeah, so, oh, look at that little glitchy glitch. But yeah, you can test the tour and as you can see, it is the CloudFront domain name. But also, if I use, since it's working, if I use the C name, which is right here, which is linked in, so I've, I linked this CloudFront domain name in Route 53 here. So let's go to just this one. So if I go to edit record, you can see right here, this is the CloudFront name. Okay, and you can see this is, you know, my server. But this is a cl CloudFront name. You go to alias to CloudFront, and then put in the CloudFront name, and then, you know, you put in your record name or whatever up here, and uh, simple routing, and then you hit save. Boom, that links your Route 53 to CloudFront, and um, then this will work. So this uh, C name will also go to the same cloud front tour, which in turn is going to the Amazon S3 link, but it's all masked as, let's see, which one of these am I not using? Uh, certificate manager, we're not using that. 
So that is masked as that. See? Same tour. Same little glitch at the top, but you missed it. It happens real quick. But, uh, yeah. So now, that same CloudFront domain name is now that C name. Um, and it's not that long as... Oh, and as you can see, it's secure. Bing! So it's not that long S3 name. But what has been long is this video at 15 minutes. But hopefully you glean some good information. And, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks!